Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2, question number 61. The question says, uh, William constructs a ramp shown below. What is the value of x? Now, if we're assuming that William is not a terrible ramp maker, I can assume that this x feet, which is in the back, is the same length as this x right here. So what we're really looking at is the Pythagorean theorem. Because we've got a nice right triangle. That's terribly drawn triangle, but in your mind, pretend. Uh, 24, 2, and x. So we're looking to find out what the value of x is. I mean, logically, you could figure out that since it's a right triangle, it has to be longer than the longer side. So the fact that it could be uh, 22 doesn't make any sense because this side here is 24. And the 23.92 doesn't make any sense because the hypotenuse has to be longer. So you can eliminate those two almost immediately. In fact, um, the 26 even seems a bit suspect, so you might just dive on the right answer immediately, but I'm going to try to go through how to get to the exact answer, and I'm going to try to go to the formulas page if I can. Good guess. Um, so here's the Pythagorean theorem. Anytime you have a triangle, it's a right triangle, and you're looking for that third side, you're going to be using it. Now I'm going to try to get back uh, to the actual question. Fell a little short there. Sorry about that. If you know me, you know that I am short, so it works perfect. But anyway, I've got my Pythagorean theorem, and it said that with a right triangle, I'm dealing with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm just going to write that formula down. Then I'm going to touch the right angle, which is like right here. Um, the reality is the parts that or the lines that make up that right angle, those are a and b. So I'm given a and b in this problem. So I'm just going to type in uh, 24 squared, or plug in, I should say, substitute, and then 2 squared equals c squared. Well, I need to do 24 squared plus 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, obviously. And 24 squared is 576. So all I need to do is combine these two together, which gives me 580. The last step in any Pythagorean theorem problem is a square root, because the opposite of squaring is square root. So I need to take the square root of 580, and I get a answer, or an answer, that was terrible English, good thing this is math, right, of 24.08. So my answer for this one is B. So anytime you see a chance to use a right triangle to find that third side, go ahead and do so, and I think uh, it might make your life much better in terms, or your score much better, I guess. So good luck.